Hi, hello, welcome back to another session. In this video, we have a suggestion for the topic that is silicon polymers. So, I prepared a detailed note about silicon polymers and its application in pharmaceutical sciences. Okay, the content of the video include there is an introduction portion, chemistry of silicons, structure, properties, synthesis of silicons, its application in pharmaceutical field, then the confusing facts and the general facts about silicons and silicon. Okay, let's check out the topic. Pharmacy is one of the most important fields where various polymers including silicons are used. Silicons commonly known as polysiloxanes belong to the organosilicon compounds. In medicinal products and medical devices for internal use, polysiloxanes that is silicons play the role of active substance as well as excipients while for external use only as excipients. Then as excipients for external use, polysiloxanes that is silicons have direct contact with the human organism through skin adhesive patches, pressure sensitive silicon adhesives, controlled drug delivery system, skin care emollients, ointments and lotions. Also used in various auxiliary materials like contact lenses and various implants etc. Then the next point, chemistry of silicons. Fundamental ingredients of silicons are high molecular compounds like silico-organic polysiloxanes. Then aciloxan is a fundamental group in organosilicon chemistry with SiO-Si linkage. The parent siloxanes include the oleomeric and polymeric hydrides with the formulae HOSiH2NOH and OSiH2N. Then the siloxan functional group form the backbone of silicons for example polydimethyl siloxan that is the familiar dimethicon which are used in most of the cosmetic products as you know then the third point that is its structure the structure is like this the name silicon usually refers to organosilicon polymers with the general structure si r2o where r is ch3 group that is methyl group and is called polydimethyl siloxan which is often abrasived as PDMS. Next point is its properties. The properties of siloxanes depends on the type and number of side group, the molecular weight and cross link density. Silicon polymers have a very low critical surface tension despite a very polar backbone. Then most siloxanes are very flexible due to the low rotation barrier. Next point, due to the strong SiO and SiC bond, silicon polymers have a very high heat and oxidative stability and outstanding chemical resistance. Then silicons have a high permeability to oxygen, nitrogen and water vapor even if in the case liquid water is not capable of wetting the silicon surface. Next point, many other groups like phenyl, vinyl, alkyl and trifluoropropyl can substitute the methyl group along with the chain. But there is some drawback. The drawback of the presence of other organic groups along with the chain backbone is the reduction of the polymer's thermal stability. But with this substitution, many other properties can be improved. For example, a small percentage of the phenyl group along with the chain reduces the tendency to crystallization and allows the polymer to remain flexible even at very low temperature. Then I have one more point. With the alkyl groups, silicons produce hydrophobic films. Next point, the activation energy of viscous flow is rather low and the viscosity is less dependent on temperature compared to hydrocarbon polymers. This is due to the great flexibility of the chain backbone. The distance between the adjacent chains is noticeably larger in silicons than in alkanes. Next point, strong bases and acids may cause depolymerization. Similarly, some electron deficient salts may cause the cleavage of SiO as well as the SiC bond. Then another important point is, normally polysiloxanes are chemically inert substance. That means the common chemical reagents such as dilute acids and bases, metal salt, water at room temperature, hydrogen peroxide, ammonium hydroxide etc. have no effect on polysiloxanes. Ok, let's check out the next point that is the synthesis of silicons. Here the chemical reaction is like this.
Commercial silicones are prepared by the hydrolysis of dichlorosilans in presence of water. The reaction is exothermic and yield in a first step that is disilanols. It is then condensed to cyclic oligomers, mainly cyclic trimers and tetramers by inter and intramolecular condensation reaction. And it is catalyzed by the released hydrochloric acid. Then the next important point from the session that is the pharmaceutical application of silicon polymers. Siloxanes are present in many personal care products like soap, cosmetics, shampoos, conditioners, deodorants, deforms and so on. Then the infant care products with silicon can satisfy the highest quality standards. Resistant to bacteria, silicones are easy to sterilize and are excellent for sensitive applications such as respiratory tubings and topical medications. They are hypoallergic so can be used safely for skin contact use as well as intravenously. Then the next point is silicone products used in pharmaceutical industry are autoclave seals, butterfly seals, tank seals, tubing, silicone rubber inflating seals. Then another important point, silicone oil are important tool in vitreo retinal surgery. Because they have the ability to displace aqueous viomer from the retinal surface, maintaining the adhesion between retina and retinal pigment epithelium. They are useful for making watertight seals and caskets as well as non-sticky products. The medical grade silicone products including menstrual cup, baby bottle nipples, silicone face mask and so on. Then dental instruments, components are other products. Then silicones are used in cosmetics and surgical implants. Dimethicone, the basic silicon fluid is important for their emollient properties. They are used in various skincare formulations like creams and ointments. Then silicone polymers are also used in various surgeries as long term implants. Some examples are they are used as breast implants and long term internal implants like pacemaker lead. Then there is a note on medical grade silicon. The term medical grade silicon means medical long term implantable materials or it is technically referred to as medical healthcare grade class 6 silicon tested for biocompatibility. Then there is a related point that is the medical grade silicon are called liquid silicon rubber that is LSR. Then another point types of silicon rubber. The four major types of silicone rubber commercially available are first one is the liquid silicone rubber that is LSR then the second one is high consistency rubber that is HCR and the third one is fluorosilicone rubber that is FSR and the last one is room temperature vulcanized silicone that is RTV then the liquid silicone rubber are almost medical grade then it's time for checking the confusing facts about the topic. First point is what is exactly silicon and silicon. Silicon itself made from carbon, hydrogen, oxygen and silicon. The ingredient silicon comes from silica which is derived from sand. It is then mixed with other chemicals to create silicon. That is a silicon or polysiloxan are polymers made up of siloxan. They are typically colorless oils or rubber like substance. Then silicon is the second most abundant element on the earth crust after oxygen. Then please note the point as I told before silicon is most often found in silica and oxide of silicon and also the main constant of sand. Then it is also the eighth most element in the universe. Then please note the point for more clarification. Silicon is the raw chemical element found in silica, a main constituent of sand and silicon is a rubber primarily derived from it. Then silicon rubber is categorized as synthetic elastomer because silicon polymer is both man-made and displays elastic properties. Now you can check some related general facts. Silicon polymers are non-biodegradable polymers. Polydimethyl siloxan is commonly known as silicon rubber. Polysiloxans are water repellent. They are transparent to visible light but absorb considerable amount of ultraviolet light, especially of shorter wavelength. 
Then silicons do not irritate the body. That is, they are of low toxicity, low chemical reactivity. Then silicon can be formulated to both be insulating and conductive. They doesn't support microbiological growth and is both low and high heat resistant. Okay then, that's all for today's session. Please comment your suggestions in the comment box. Please do subscribe. Thank you so much.